doing, Nick here, and needless to say, Microsoft has had a very successful last couple of weeks. What started off with the build conference gently transitioned into a world introduction of Hollow Portation, Microsoft's very own virtual teleportation platform. Now, while incredibly cool, this is the part that might anger you. In recent years, many tech companies have talked about the age of peak technology, where in all of our products, we basically have everything that we need and nothing that we don't, so demand is no longer there and the sales for these companies will plummet. Does that mean that holoportation is another one of these sales tactics to get you to keep buying Microsoft's products, or is it something truly revolutionary that Microsoft has gone all out with? Let's check it out. Okay, so to be fully honest, virtual reality and similar fields are very cool. Clearly the potential is there, but it seems that as of late, we've been getting these very budget oriented and almost gimmicky implementations that really don't push the envelope of the technologies. All of these products are basically interesting enough to get you to buy them, but also detached and basic enough so that you don't mind throwing them away and getting the newest version a year later. But thankfully, I can say that that's not the case with Microsoft's holoportation. Whether it be the first computer or the modern smartphone or even the telegraph, all of these technologies have one thing in common. They fundamentally change the way we as humans interact with one another. We can now have someone in our ear or represent an entire human being and their lives visually on a screen. Now, the next logical step, and quite possibly the only thing that could make any of this better than it already is, is if you take that same person who's thousands of miles away and find a way to have them in the same room. That would replicate true human interaction, and that's exactly what holoportation promises to do. Now, while we're still in the early days of this technology and what can best be described as a bunch of cameras, some visual modeling, and some 3D rendering, none of that should scare you, because what we've seen so far is an incredible proof of concept and many people are already working on ways to make it feel more natural. Like having a wrist-worn drone camera that could fly out and replicate a hologram wherever and whenever you needed it, or say you implant some cameras into the walls of your home, or you just throw on a headset and you can have lunch with your friend who's across the globe. Needless to say, this is something that's truly groundbreaking and might just be better than anything else we've experienced. Long story short, you might want to hold on to the last couple of phone calls on your smartphone because they're likely going to be the ones you never see again. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.